and I got to go with that. This is where they say they dumped them. This is where they dumped them. So all it would take is just a well-heeled expedition of guys who know how to scuba. Yeah, I wouldn't even be well-heeled. I, you know, you can take an underwater camera and drop it over with your fishing pole. Or, like, they have those underwater drones now, too, that, with now cameras that, on them. And they got, uh, they got the side-scanning sonar stuff that you can use. Oh, yeah. Uh, we've, we've tried looking at uh, using those kind of things at the boneyard, but they can't pick up tusks buried 10 feet down. Um, you know, they shoot pulses into the earth and it's supposed to refract back up. Um, you just got to find them where they're at. And uh, I was going to tell you how valuable these tusks are. The set we found on the day, we had an offer for $485,000 for the pair the next day. Whoa. And guess what, Joe? You and I both know what $485,000 looks like. What would you rather look at? A set of 12-foot mammoth tusks or a bunch of hondos sitting on a you know. Depends on what phase of my life I'm at. Yeah, well, <laughs> I think at this point in your life, you'd rather look at I'd the look tusks. I'd look at the tusks. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think so. 12-foot tusks? Yeah. Jesus. But I'm not in inter- I want to see the tusks. Yeah. Now, I don't have as many sunsets in front of me as I do behind me, but I have an idea I won't have to sell those in my lifetime. I'll let Drew out there and Alora decide what happens to those things. We just built our own, you know, they said, well, storage is a problem. We just built this fall before we came down here, framed up a 5,000 square foot building to house some of the collection. We have so many bones. I've filled up four vans, uh, delivery trucks, big, you know, semi-trailer filled. Started off with, yeah, we got a few. Now we got a few hundred thousand. And you're not even done digging. Oh, fuck no. That's what's so crazy in a five acre parcel. Wow. Yeah. That is so wild. I mean, you must have spent many a night thinking, how the fuck are they all here? Like, what is this? I want to get, I want to give you this for your copy. All right. Thank you. you Tell people, go get it. Go get them tusks. I mean, you know how amazing it would be if someone came on? Tell you what, if somebody goes there and they gets a tusk, I'll have you on the podcast. Oh yeah, there. Wow. Uh, buddy of mine just sold a broken tusk for a hundred thousand bucks. That's wild. So I mean, they're not making any new ones. No. It's just weird that you could even own them. <clears throat> you know. Like well, I, a, I know a guy who uh, was on a ranch in Montana, and. Um, um, I think the story was someone was elk hunting on the ranch and they saw something in the ground and they contacted the ranch owner and it turned out there was a T-Rex skeleton and they, someone purchased it for over a million dollars. Yep. Uh, there's a guy on Instagram, I, I want to say Bucky der Fingerlitz or something like that, <laughs> that found... He should get together with Dick Mole. Yeah. Just <laughs> but he uh, found the best preserved T Rex I think ever found. Yeah. On his ranch or in the, you know, he's, he raises cattle out west. And that's the funny thing about the Instagram is we meet through Instagram people that we've never met personally. Mm, yeah. There's a guy named Matt Slingsby up in Alaska. You follow oh, him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Slingsby AK. You're goddamn right. Yeah. By the way, when I go to Florida in the wintertime, I always bring down some of his smoked salmon. Oh, nice. So I brought you a couple jars of it. Oh, great. That he, he makes his stuff himself. Oh, wow. And uh, He makes his own smoked salmon. Yes, sir. And cans it. That's a big thing up there, right? People can salmon? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. That's awesome. I'll eat this. But yesterday he posted a video that's no longer online of a grizzly bear that charged into a herd of muskox and that had just laid down calves it killed all of them one bear killed over 10 baby muskoxen jesus and it's not that video is not on today why did you take the did the instagram take the video down i don't know i haven't i haven't asked him but i'm gonna find out 
Well, there's a lot of those sites like Nature is Metal. You know that that website? I think they get their videos taken down. I think there's a lot of uh, the the faint-hearted amongst us that think that there's something wrong with watching videos of animals killing other animals. That somehow or another it's cruel. Well, I know I get accused of climate change and global warmth and stuff. And you do? Yeah. Because of mining? Because we're melting the permafrost. Oh, that's hilarious. It is, but they You're go You're literally a part of one of the greatest paleontological discoveries ever. I know. And oh, you about the globals warming. <laughs> yeah, and I'm pretty- It's qu- warming. <laughs> it happens. Yeah, well, but just people are just out of their fucking mind looking for things to complain about. Yeah, I mean, it's cr- 50 degrees below zero right now in Alberta. I just got a message from one of my buddies. It was 50 below at our house two days ago up in Fairbanks, and it warmed up today to 14 below. Nice. You nice. brought a little of that weather here. It here must it be, is. Boy, this here is we're a balmy 20. You know, one thing I noticed about this town is you got some blue sky. Oh, yeah, it's nice. This sky here is really blue. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's and a great town. It's, it seemed like good, clean air. Yeah, yeah. You know. It's just, great here. Yeah. It's great. I love it. And Eddie Reese lives here, too, so uh, next time I come down. I'm going to go visit them, make nice. sure I have some time. So people give you a hard time, but th- that's just people. They're going to, doesn't matter what you, if you're donating money, you're not donating it enough. If you're, you're helping people, you're not helping enough. You're, or you're helping the wrong people, or you should be doing this instead, or you shouldn't have the money to donate in the first place. Or There's just, you, there's too much noise. You uh, can't, but what, what you've discovered, what people should be concentrating on is the immense magnitude of that discovery and how crazy it is that they're literally discovering that there's animals that are in there that they didn't think existed there. Clearly they did. You've got an enormous number of them. You've got burnt ground below them. Like what the fuck is going on? Like what is all that? Well, the step bison, they're extinct. Short-faced bears, they're extinct. The, the American lion, extinct. You got American lions up there? Oh, yeah. That that wow, one like skull you have I got everything up there. That's uh, crazy. It's what? Got, how much variety? Like how many different animals have you found bones of? That's a American lion. Yeah. Wow! Look at those teeth. That is so cool. Look how cool that tooth is. My son and I, Kinsey, were out there at the boneyard one day, and we were hydraulic and then shut the pump down and went up for the final walkthrough on the muck. That's and insane. you know, as the guys want to do at the end of the day, it's just piss against the muck bench you know just take a leak right so he's over there i'm over here we're taking a leak and we both look at about the same time and that thing is staring at us out of the muck 